Welcome to EdTech Du Jour appetizer segment. I'm Dr. Farmagus. I'm Dr. Callback. And we found a really cool app. It's called Screen Chomp. And actually, TechSmith makes Screen Chomp. And they did this with one of their innovation experimental labs. So they offer a lot of really cool things. And they put them out there. And they see what the public thinks about that. And they decide to further develop or not. So with Screen Chomp, it is a free app, as I mentioned. And it's only uh, to be used with iPads at this stage of the game. It's not to be um, confusing that with maybe they decide later to have a Windows application or not. But it is only with um, iPad currently. And what's really neat about it, it is, is a screencasting tool. So you can record or annotate or whatever right on your iPad. So you can choose um, from your library of images. You can choose from Dropbox. Or you can take a photo and do a screencasting of it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one from my Dropbox. So I'm going to do like a quick little getting started uh, Dropbox thing here. And anyone who knows about whiteboard apps mm -hmm. knows that you can also edit and write, and so we'll feature that as well. Right. So what's really neat about it is it's simple. It does have that little kid-like uh, monster thing on there, but at the same time, it makes it really easy to use. You know, it's very simple. So you can have your students do screencasting right on their app and share it with each other. So if they're working on a problem or whatever, they can just go ahead and send that link out or tweet the link out, which right. is really cool. So you just simply hit record. And if you notice up on the upper right-hand corner, it has the microphone. So uh, you can go ahead and make notes. Uh, you can look at certain sections here. If you hold it down, you can pick the size uh, pen mark you want and whatever color. So if I want a green, I can do green. Um, you can make whatever kind of annotation you'd like. If I didn't like that one over there, I can use that eraser and erase that erase that. If I didn't like the entire thing, over here on the bottom left, they have a total board eraser, which is cool. You just hold it for three seconds, and that little rag comes across and wipes it out. So it's, it's kind of really neat um, how you can do it. And then as soon as you're done, it tells you how many seconds you've recorded for. And these are just meant for short little screencasting segments. And then you can hit stop. So as you can see, it records your audio and it records the whiteboard that you have here. You can decide to pitch it in that trash can. Or over here on the right-hand side, you have a share option. And in that share option, you can send it out as a link. You can tweet it, um, whatever you choose. So it's a really great tool. So how do you think you can use this in, in one of your online classrooms? Well, one, I think it's very unique because there are other whiteboard apps, mm -hmm. so you can write on it however you can record. So, again, you have the visual with the audio, which is a way to reach more students through those learning preferences. So just to mark up documents and to give feedback and to record. So sometimes if I see a lot of text on a page, a mm -hmm. student might interpret what I'm saying differently. But with that audio, they can really understand the tone of my voice and what mm -hmm. I'm seeking so it's a great tool. Those are, those are great points, Dr. Callback. And what's neat about it, too, is you can sit there and have it on your iPad. You don't have to be on your laptop, logged in anything. You can have it right there, you know, and you can be relaxed as you're giving that feedback to your students or student-to-student -student sharing. So it's really great. So once that's done, you have over there a little notification. I can go ahead and touch to view. And there I can see my little clip, my screencasting. And down here on the bottom, it's really simple. That's why I love right. this app. User it's friendly. free and it's simple. And you can just hit share and you can copy the link, email the link, or you can tweet the link. So how easy is that? Very easy. And you can have your entire history of all of the different um, screencasts that you've done right on your iPad. It's really cool. So be sure to check it out. It's called Screen Chomp by TechSmith.